In Hanoi, the pavement is a highly valued piece of real estate. It's where the home meets the street. A public space shared for private purposes. For those who can afford the time, the hours after dawn are moments to savour. For others, business beckons and the day is already in full swing. By 7.30, it's easier to dodge motorbikes in the street than cope with the obstacle course on the pavement, which must mean it's time for breakfast. The only trouble is deciding what to eat. And if you want to avoid indigestion, then eat early. At eight o'clock comes the first round in a game of cat and mouse that goes on all day. More than a year ago, the Vietnamese government launched a campaign to restore order to the streets. And ever since, the police have been conducting a running battle with Hanoi's irrepressible pavement traders. I asked permission to film the police at work and was invited to follow Captain Nock on the beat around one of Hanoi's busiest markets. He prepared well for our arrival, with extra officers on hand to make sure the pavements were neat and orderly. Hardly a lettuce leaf was out of place. Chúng tôi có tổ chức tuyên truyền để cho mọi người dân đều hiểu những người buôn bán không có cửa hàng, cửa hiệu để họ đảm bảo cái cuộc sống của họ vì họ chưa có việc làm. But old hands develop clever survival techniques. Tôi cũng di chuyển rất nhiều nơi từ bên nọ sang bên kia rồi cắt ngõ ngách bởi vì không được đứng không được đứng bên hè phố thì tôi phải chuyển. Chiu Khak Kho is Hanoi's most famous street barber. He's been cutting hair on the footpath since he was 14. His reputation for style is so high that the young and fashionable trust their heads to him without a mirror, which helps him keep a low profile with the police. Mà vì đây tôi cắt theo không gương mà cắt kín chứ không phải là cắt bày cửa hàng cửa hiệu cả. Barbers with less of a reputation must go public to attract customers, leaving them open to police sweeps. Hanoi's population has doubled in the past few years and will double again by early next century, as migrants pour in from the countryside in search of work. The economy of the street is their lifeline, waiting on the pavement for job offers in what locals call the people market. Overcrowding in the city offers little chance of privacy. Quiet moments are rare. Even at night, the streets are alive. Commerce continues to encroach on the footpath. But Hanoi's intense and exhausting pavement culture also keeps alive the highly prized art of conversation, a chance to unwind before the whole hectic cycle begins again.